Hi, I'm Vicki, Condi Systems Tech Support, and the purpose of this video is that I want to explain to you guys how to properly use pressure. I get a lot of calls on um, what to use as far as weight pressure on your heat press, light pressure, medium pressure, heavy pressure. And what I, what's most important about understanding pressure is that all you want to do, all, the only thing you're accomplishing is, is equal distribution of of the weight, meaning the media, the contact, across the sublimated area. So if you have hardboard, whether it be tile, patches, whatever, I'm just going to get a, I got a little display here and I'm going to go through one by one and explain why and what type of pressure we use with each of these products and hopefully by the end of the video I would have uh, demonstrated better or given you a better idea how to properly use pressure and how to decide what pressure to use with products. So pressure, don't want you to overthink it. I want to make it simple so that basically when you go to press a product that you understand better what kind of pressure to use with it. Okay so we'll get started over to my left. Uh, I have a roll of paper out here because with everything you press product wise you are going to use protective paper. And I think it's really important that you know that that's always your final layer because you don't, you don't want to brown your, the surface of the area and you, and you certainly do not want to ruin any of your expensive layers like your felt or your conductive heat pad or your press. So you don't want ink on that stuff. Protective paper is really important with any product you press. So always use it on the bottom and I'll always use it on the top. Okay, so starting with this metal, this is round metal here this is a very flat surface and anything that's that's flat has no uh, indentions in it or textured areas most cases most always you're going to use medium pressure and the reason why is is that your media is going to make contact very easily when you put your uh, image face down on top of the product also with metal you can press it face down with the transfer face up so it's a conductor of heat so it's really simple to press face up or face down your pressure is going to be the same it's always going to be medium pressure so medium pressure is just making sure that anywhere where you have ink on the media that it is covering the surface with equal weight of your sublimatable area okay so that's medium pressure all right right here I have a puzzle this puzzle has four pieces to it and so these pieces have these you know little indented lines so you you might want to use a lip maybe just a tidge more than medium pressure but medium pressure is good because you want to make sure you make it uh, the ink makes it to where these indentions are so the purpose of that is making sure that when you place your your transfer which is your media face down on a product and you apply the pressure that you're applying enough pressure that you get contact in these in these creased areas okay so you don't want any light spots light and dark spots means you don't have equal distribution of weight across that surface light and dark will always most cases mean that you don't have a good amount of pressure on that product okay so also this is another hardboard very smooth surface real easy to do just like the metal you're going to do it face up, always with your pre-press, but when you lay your transfer down, this is a very flat surface. Medium pressure is all you're going to need. Make sure that your media is contacting every area of this substrate. So go to the duration, look online for our times and temperatures, but as far as pressure goes, medium pressure is all you need. This is a little more complicated of a product and the reason I say why these are patches these patches have a really thick seam around them so patches is one of the few products that I can think of that uses an extreme amount of pressure and when I say extreme amount of pressure I mean really really heavy pressure and the reason why is when you lay your media down on, on this type of product with the seam if you don't use enough pressure then the ink your media the ink will not make it to the seam. You're going to have this little white line that goes around the seam because the pressure wasn't strong enough, or should I say you didn't allow enough pressure so that the ink would make it to the seam and to the edge of the seam, or should I say. So you, you don't want that white line. So to, to get around that, you want to make sure that when you're pressing patches, anything that 
you have to get ink to the very edge, you want to make sure that you use an extremely heavy pressure. And when I say really heavy pressure, I mean really heavy pressure with these patches, okay? So it's one of the few products that we use heavy pressure with. So if you just think logic with pressure, I think you'll be okay. Just think about getting that, that ink to the edge and across the surface of your substrate. That's what's really important. So we're going to move on to this cover here. This is one of our no notebook covers. And like with uh, this notebook cover and with some of our neoprene, very similar to neoprene, you have these little uh, hem seams, okay? These hem seams, of course, are very challenging because they, they, when, you, when you sew, when you create a seam, you actually have an indented area where the thread is. So it's not real smooth where that thread is, okay? So we get the call where, okay, it doesn't quite make it. You see this little white area where that seam is. So if you think about getting ink to that seam so that you don't see that white area, you probably want to apply a little more heavier pressure with something like this where you have a seam. Any, anything that has textured or, in, or indented areas, if you, use, if you don't use enough pressure, you're going to see where the actual media, the ink, doesn't make it all the way to the seam to cover those areas. So think of pressure with something like this. Need a little more force, not as heavy as the patch, but a little more force. Yes, you can use too much pressure where you have blowout, so you just use a little logic. Think about it in terms of how much pressure am I going to need to mesh these areas and get the ink all the way to the edge. Okay. So we're going to move on over to tile. Tile is, um, we sell several different types of tile. Some of our tile we do face up, some of our tile we do face down. So make sure you follow the instructions on that. The two tile that I have here that I want to demonstrate here, the reason I picked this is because we do these face down. If you're not sure which ones to do face up or face down, make sure that you follow the instructions based on your product number. These tile we do face down because there's not a lot of high ridges on the back. So we don't have cold spots on the front. We can do them face down a lot easier. And the reason we want to use the felt here is because we want to mesh. And so just like I was talking about with the notebook, when we mesh something, we have to apply a little more force. Not too much force. Don't overuse pressure. Use only enough pressure that you need if you, use, if, if you overcompensate pressure, then you have blowout. You have more problems than if you don't use enough. So what you want to accomplish here with tiles is you have this, this rounded edge, just like with this oval one. You have this rounded edge. And on the back, it's pretty smooth. So when we add, when we lower the platen, what we have is a smooth surface so the, e the heat will transfer equally. If you have raised areas on the back, we usually do those face up and, and heat doesn't, uh, doesn't distribute equally. So make sure you have a, a smooth enough surface that you can do tile face down. Look to the instructions. Now with these tile, you're going to use medium pressure. You're going to do them face down into the felt. And what I want to talk about using this product with pressure is that your transfer, of course, is going to be face up, your tile is going to be face down, you're going to lower your platen, apply just enough pressure so that this tile will sink slightly into that media and into the felt so that your image covers the rounded areas. So you want to make it all the way to the edge. If not, if you use too light a pressure then it doesn't make it to the edge and then you have these little white marks around the edge. So that's how you work pressure with tile face down. So again, I hope this has helped demonstrate how to use pressure properly. If you have any questions on how to use pressure, my name is Vicki, my department. Anyone in my department can help answer these questions. Also, look to our videos on Condi TV. And as always, thank you for your time.